Sobege jot halis baye ko UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland ak adina wargal kep su Pasanix money transfer ñung ci and ak yeen. Ak yu nek ay xaliss bu gëna maga ci Gambia, mën nga jot xaliss fepp fi nga ne baye ko carton be koyna te do ci am ben jafé jafé. Wow! Mën nga jot xaliss baye ko ci sa ay mbokk ak am di jamma nek ci UK, Europe, US Canada, Switzerland ak adina wargal kep ak suñ yu nek ay xaliss bu maga bi nga xamne dafa wor gaaw te nopalé fi ci bir Gambia. Su ba sanex money transfer ñung ci ñett fuk ak ñent deka ci bir Afrika ngir jox leen melowaay yu gën ci jottum xaliss bi nga xamne kenn du ko laam laamé. Saytu leen ñu ci Google Play Store wala App Store ngir mëna bindu ci suñ app bi di su ba sanex money transfer app da ngeen mëna banexu ci suñ money transfer services yi. Ay mbek te rek la ak su ba sanex. Alen ku nek ci turam ak santam gambien talent tv sansune dañuy faral nak di am nit yo xamne ci bir dekk bi len bok ñu fi ñew di waxtan ak askan bi ci anam yu bare bare xam ngeen ne tele bi dañuy wax ne tele bo xamne la gambia la tuda manam gambien ci yeen lañ ko tudé te kep ko xamne gambien nga ya ngi def lu bax dinañ la fi indi tay nak den content lol 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 am ambassador ci suñu bir waye duma len wax kan la xamna ne so lañ gisee jima ji yene ma gëna xam ki nga xamne mo ñew tay ci bir place bi so youssef nak dina ko am ci diben koto waye bala mu ko am ci diben koto rek dinañ koy indi ñu yëb ko tru lan lan nek di def ci bir institution bi ñu bari bari dañ koy dégg ci internet bi ñu ne gambienta lañ ñoo defar ko fi mox gambienta lañ ñoo empower youth ci waye hit na sa amane duñ ko gëm waye ñu ne wédi gis bokku ça so ñëwé nga ne ñu ne si miss believe in so ñëwé xolal ko sa bopa bi nga xamne loolu dëgg la ambassador yu melni former america ambassador bi di ki nga xamne nak moy current uh, minister of um um what is it called again um external affairs i would say uh ki nga xamne moy cheikh omar uh, mohammed uh, fay ñew uh, na fi ci bir ker bi jamono joju mu ngi nekkon ambassador uh, am nen fi tamit uh, ku melni uh, former vice president bi di fatima ta jallo tamba jang am nen fi ñu bari bari ño xamne ñew nen fi former um I would call him Mamadou Sabali ki nga xamne moy one head of the civil service mom ñew na ci bir ker bi ñu bari 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 ñew nen fi tay nak ñu am fi jigen ju am jom jigen jo xamne kep ko xamne duga na ci politique di nane ama moy sa role model jamono ji nak ñu am ko ci bir ker bi di nañ ko pare rek ñu yobu ko through wan ko Gambian Talents TV waye bala ma ko wonal Gambian Talents TV di nañ ko pare mu jox len tout introduction of mom moy kan dem ñu duga ci bir ñu wax ak mom after mu ñew na wa ñu ñu ngi sey place bi salam aleykum wa aleykum salam euh jere len jeuf wa gambia talents promotion tay contana torop lima fi ñew surtout suma gisee jigen ñi youth ci euh ñu ngi liggey ci fasso liggey bi ma ngi nuyu viewers yépp ma ngi nuyu seen propriété bi mr diouf euh ak mayana ko torop ci limo def ni dama ko def follow all the time dama de deglu gambia talents promotion limo def ak gif si mo joxe ak limo def gambia yi ma ko waga ci ngalama jerejef mashallah thank you very much dama over excited dama xamne fu nek ni dama jaxase yeb instead of introduce suma bopa fatena wax na len ko man dama ko bëggal suma bopa parce que jigen ju mën limoy def la fatou samba gambia talents country coordinator so mën nañu starté fi mën nga jog ñu anda da da bi waxtan waxtan be wa so fi moy sun deception bi fi len de welcome a different guest fi la sun accountant bi de talk slash secretary mom fi la de talk so di nga gis ne sal bi fi la ñi de def sun research bi ñi de def trc bi ñom fi len de talk def sun analysis and all that so fi len de welcome sun different guest and uh, the same time sometimes if they want to host program depending on kan moy ñew ñi ne dañ de ñew and ak sun supporter more especially musician so ñu set up a lane um in that style so you welcome ma thank you so you can come you start fee this is first class bi hello how are you oh, good morning so I'm this is to see all these youths young people thank you very much 
So uh, basically, these are a few people. You know, we have three shift Gambian talents work, um, three shift morning, afternoon, and night. We work 24 hours, okay. and uh, every day we are here. And these are the young people that you see doing the film work, that you see doing the editing, that you see interviewing. A lot of people will say tele halay. So these are halay I'm Jami. So um, this is this young man is all the way from the provinces, but because of this internship, that is why he's here for one year. So will you mind to introduce yourself to our honorable? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Madam Samba. My name is Musa Dahawa. I am from all the way from provinces, Nyani. I'm um, from Shiara. Yeah, Nyani Dobo. Yeah, right. thank you very much. So, can you tell us about your area? Do you have things like this, the internship? Do you have anything that will help you to develop yourself? Yeah, here I'm doing uh, journalism. And then here is very good. As far as in our area, we don't have such. But here, I'm very glad to be here. And then uh, the management boards also, they are doing their best so that we can achieve what we aim for. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very and, much. Uh, that is She's married. You can just um, tell us something about what you have learned so far. Mm, uh, hello. Good morning. My name is Bintu Singate. I'm from Salaji. I'm married and I have a child. Uh, I came to, uh, I heard about Gambian talent from my uncle, so he told me to go for a research on Facebook. Then I went to Facebook and researched it. Then that was when I came here, collect a form, and I applied for it. Then when they give me a chance, and when I come in, I, 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 uh, true that I can see how Gambian talents are working on youths now. And I and I have two. Uh, the I just have one week here, but I two that week I understand how uh, as a journalist how you should comport yourself when you go out to people and how you should address to the peoples out there. And that's all I can say. Thank you. So you can get uh, that. Good morning once again. I am Sina Wusane from Buford. I've been here for a month now, but I really appreciate their work because the management are there over digging to make sure that we know what it carries to be a journalist. Though it is not easy to work with youth, but they throw all what they can to make sure that we always comfortable and they doing ex extremely well. So Sainabu, you have been with us. She has been going to night coverage because she wants to be an entertain um, and journalist. So right now she's going out and sometimes we we spent the night. I think the last time we went out and they robbed us. Yes. Oh, wow. really? So you yes. can explain some of the scenarios. That she is right. We went out where we were robbed and some of our jackets were missing, which was very sad because we our occupation cannot go without those things. And they try and all what they can to make sure that they provide us with the best jackets. But what can we do without those jackets? It was really sad when we came across it, but it it's so sad. Because we cannot go without those jackets, yes. I think um, they should thrive very well, those who did that. They should know that we're here for them. And as a youth, it is never easy to come through such challenges. But I really appreciate the way that they're working with us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. So, Gambian Talents, we try to empower young people. Um, it is not only, journalism is not only about the best part of the interview, being in the studio. Sometimes you have to go out and then, you know, um, see the hot cake and also try to struggle so hard. And we have Babuka, who is currently at the University of the Gambia. We don't only have young people mm -hmm. that only graduate from school, but we also have young people that are at the university, but with zero experience when it comes to the practical experience. So, Babuka, will you mind to introduce yourself and tell us a bit about what you were doing. Yeah, I am Bobakar SCC, a second year student at the University of the Gambia, student accountancy. <coughs> so I came here as an intern uh, doing videography and then also helping the accountant here. Yeah, that's basically. I'm learning a lot. I've, I'm really learning a lot here because uh, when I came here in the first instance, I don't know much about, like I, too, I have zero experience about like the practical aspects of accounting, but now I'm exposed to a lot of things when it comes to accounting, and then yeah, I can do a lot of practical works on the accounting areas. Then I do learn only the theory aspect, yeah. But now I am I can do it, and the videography also. I have a lot of uh, my bosses here, and if they, they taking me through some of the courses and through watching some tutorials, I'm really learning, yeah. 
Thank you. Who said young people cannot do it? I say no. So when you had gambling talents, you would get to learn a lot of, lot of things. So Ma, you're welcome. Let us now get to the studio. Here is the studio. Okay. And they say, always close the door, please. You know, in the studio, we always have guests like you. Very important. <laughs> so people should not come in. So come in, ma'am. Come in. Um, so here is our studio. Yes, this is where everything happens. This is where we mix, we interview. After the interview, it becomes something else. Yes, so this is the studio. This is where we do our programs. And uh, believe it or not, Gambian Talents is zero budget. We have nobody that is funding this institution. Everything that you are seeing here is uh, from Paus Manjouf, who is funding it by himself. He wants to see young people, um, you know, um, empowered. He wants to see young people of the street. He don't want to see young people standing outside. So this is the studio, and that is Ami Diba. Hi. Yes, Ami. Uh, will you just mind to tell us who you are and what have you been doing so far? You have been here for so long now. Hello, I am Ami Diba. A videographer and editor. I do videogram. I learn more, many, many things when I come here. Like I can do live streaming, video, uh, filming, and editing like, like what I'm doing right now. Gambian talent, how my little. Before coming to Gambian talent, have you ever know how to do all of this? No, anyway, I don't know anything about videograph and editing, <laughs> especially live streaming. What I'm doing before. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, um, Auntie Ramsey, I am proud of her. Um, this gentleman you were seeing is the one that covered the TRRC every day. But unfortunately, a few weeks ago, he was sick. So he called me early in the morning, I think around 7, and said, Fatu, I cannot attend the TRRC. So how about you? you Amidiba attend and go and cover it because every day we normally have somebody to be trained. Uh, what we do as a media house, we don't just leave the work with one person. I might not be around, but somebody else will take care of the office very well. So every day that Lamin have been going for the past one month, he will be going with Amidiba. And Amidiba was learning, learning, and there comes this day that Lamin was sick, Amidiba have to step in. So at Gambian Talents, anywhere we go, we make sure we take along a backup so that anything that happened, a particular person, somebody else can step in. So young people that we have here, before Lamin going to the TRRC, we used to have um, Musa Ajata going to the TRRC. So Musa Ajata know how to do everything, the live streaming and everything with the filming, and now he's shifted to Ibrahim Asanya. Ibrahim Asanya shifted to Adam Asol. Adam Asol shifted to Lamin. Now that Lamin is also occupied in the office, now I think he's fully well and strong now amidiba is going to the trrc with one of the new people they will be going with her so once the new people also know how to do it no need for amidiba to be going to the trrc so life keeps going so that Ami can sit here today there is no trrc they are on break so she's editing so you would not come here and idle anybody that comes here we make sure yes you have something to do yes so this too i'm not going to introduce them they will be my last <laughs> so this is the studio and sometimes this is where we do other programs as well depending on what setting we also have different coatings um, to do different things and we also have um, i think uh, sometimes when colleagues in the media come here they will be like we never knew you have all these gadgets our media house we have everything you can show the cameras and everything we have more than 10 different cameras that we use we have the sling studio we have the um, routers we have everything that it takes to do production and young people um, are the ones doing it yes so we can go to the next office yes yeah, so here is the production room this is where everything happens Hi. this is hello how how are you? How are you all? Hi, thank you. You're doing good? Yeah. So I would start with the Aka Kenyu Nyame lady. She runs a show. It's a Mandinka show. Very nice. Yes, and it's basically tradition. So Kadi, would you mind to introduce yourself and tell us who you are and what have you been doing? Okay, uh, my name is Kadi Ture. I am also an intern here in Gambian Talents TV. I graduated on um, 2014. Then from there I went to Insight Training Center where I did my certificate and diploma on journalism. And now, alhamdulillah, I am, I am doing well when it comes to um, journalism and on my program and editing as well. Yeah. 
So Teddy, I've been a journalist, but um, it is quite often in Gambia, journalists only are good in only journalism work. They don't know m editing. They don't know how to edit. This young lady have passed through the journalism class and now she edits her own program. Even without the editor, Kadi edits her own program. And the same time, right now, anytime there is somebody that is sick, Kadi is the one that um, take charge. She go and interview you and make sure give you the moderator's form and take care of it. And she is doing a fantastic work. And uh, with your program, where and where have you been? Are you a journalist in the combo? Or? Uh, I have been to many places. Um, I went to uh, Wasu, um, as well as uh, Basse and different places um, due to my program called Akeke Nunyami. It's about culture. Yeah, where I talked about different part of culture. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you, Kadi. And she has passed through other media houses as well. Can you tell us? But don't mention the media house that you have been to. Yeah, I, went, I was at uh, another media house from uh, before coming here, but by then it was very hard for me. I don't have the chance to showcase my talent, but by the, day, by the time that I came here, that's the time that I know I got something in me, and alhamdulillah, I am grateful now. Yeah, yeah, sometimes people see me and they're like, can you used to be that shy person? How can you bring her on board? I said, uh, when she was there, did you try to tell her that she has something? Right. So at Gambian Talents, um, you can come the same day and then we can take you on the field. We believe that um, true field work, you can learn. You might make mistake. That is something that we always fond of doing. We make mistake, but on the field, we learn. And the best uh, person to learn is somebody that practice. But if you want to be perfect, you can never be perfect in whatever you were to do. So I said, Ture. Yes, good morning, ma. My name is Aisha Ture. I'm an intern, an editor, a videographer, photographer, and right now uh, they are teaching us on how to uh, edit or use photos, Photoshop. So Adobe Photoshop. So that's what I'm, I'm doing right now. Yeah. So tell us, since you came, what have you been doing different from the the the, the, the I think right now you're just starting on um, Adobe Photoshop. Adobe, yes. Yeah, I never knew how to edit or how to use, how to even use a camera. But through Gambian Talents, Alhamdulillah, I'm now an editor and a videographer. Uh, yeah, and they are still motivating me. In Gambian Talent, they don't only teach you how to do editing or whatsoever. They teach you both how to be a, uh, how to be ethical, how to have respect, to be disciplined, and when talking to people, what you should do. Yeah, and Alhamdulillah. Thank you. So, Auntie Ramzi Honorable, that is one thing we train young people. A lot of people will say, Hale Amuniyar, but who is trying to train them uh, what to do? In our institution, you don't come here, you, are not, you don't dress officially. Even if you don't have it, we understand. But make sure whatever you are wearing, let it be clean. Because we meet people like you. And sometimes, you know, so we try to tell young people, when you come to work, you have to come and dress up smart. So you can show us this smart look. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so that is what we train young people. And then we have to respect them. So anyway, even your videographer, Nga wara try nga wata ampitsi. Nga gis sometimes videographers yo yep dunko deham nga video nga ekati kawar bi yep neka fufu. So these are some of the uncomfortable things we train young people, and some of them will not understand now. But later, soon started the gainer, the gis niti lunle na wa dunga ham ne wa what we are training you is the best. So man. Some of us be you can come here any day, different from Tay. Being a hamna, I'm an appointment at Yusufa. You would meet the same thing here. We make sure young people see you know, know, even if you don't tell them anything. Then you have Tay, the man interview Imam, Nila Wara Solo. The man interview um, Ustaz, Nila Wara Solo. The man interview Pastor, Nila Wara Solo. So my wahak Pastor, Nila Wara Wahek Mom. So, Binta? Yes, good morning. Ma, good morning. I'm Binta Juba, and then I have started here at Gambian Talents now, I can say for six months. And then I can say that when I was coming here, I don't know anything about journalism, anything. I can I start everything in scratch. They taught me a lot, I can say. As you just get in, you see me, I'm just jotting down my questions. I have an interview to do. Yeah. So, Binta, how is the feeling like working in an institution that is um, full of young people? Um, that is a great question to ask. Uh, as for me, I can say that 
I feel great because as I'm as a as an intern, I have nothing. I have no nothing, and then I have started here by not stopping me to do anything, whatever I want to feel to do. And then if I ask you, you people will give me the chance. Okay, do this. And then if you feel that I have done done wrong, you rectify me. And then and then for tomorrow I can be perfect. And where are you studying? I'm studying at um, uh, at uh, MBI. Yeah. yeah, studying gender. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yes, so this is the production room. This is where we have different classes. And normally, every Friday and also Saturday, we normally have classes different from um, the field work that we do. We make sure young people come. We bring the cameras, the tripods, and tell you when you are filming, this is the angle you should take it. This is what is called this. This is what is called that. And also the journalism class. We normally have classes on Fridays, and sometimes we invite um, journalists themselves. I remember we invited um, Omar Wali of the Fatu Network then, and also Lamin Jai as well. We don't see media people as competitors. We see them as uh, partners in development. And we also had um, Sheriff Bojang, uh, the, the, the president of the Gambia President Union. He was also here to train young people on how to report on riot and, um, you know, the list goes on. We have the Samba Fal, who is um, the former mayor of Banjul and also currently teaching at the University of the Gambia. He also come here and also give his uh, part. So we have many people. We also have lecturers like Sana, Sana Manka in the United States of Ono. Uh, I think in UK, yeah, he is in the UK, and he also trained young people on how to study security because journalism has to do with security. You should have to um, know the environment that you are in so that that will always help you. So we have lecturers from all over Buhari, Gasama, Mr. Buhari Gasama, um, who is based in Sweden, was also here recently, and he conducted a whole day session with our young people because we all know he's into filming, he's into documentary, and the list goes on. So that is what we do, and uh, as you can see, we have about more than 100 young people that we have trained so far in this institution. As you can see, names of different, different um, in individuals, some who are now working at other institutions, such as the QTV, the Paradise TV, they all started here. Yes, uh, most of them, I would always tell them, um, if it was not Gambian talents, you will never have the opportunity, because institution will always meet you doing something, then they would empower you. But if you go with zero budget or zero experience, nobody will um, tend to consider you. We have people that are from the back way that are now here. When they came, they're stressful. Sheikh Fal is right here with us. We also have um, Rosemont. She's a lady, young lady from the back way. We also bring her on board. We have, uh, I think, Wanja also from the back way. We have lots of them that are from the back way that are with us right now. Yes. So this is the production room. And this is Maimuna. Maimuna, you have to speak to the Injola, I believe. <laughs> yes. So she's the one that do our TRRC news every week. We normally gather the different news that we have from the TRRC, and she would analyze it. This is what this particular person say. What do you think about it? And people will start commenting. So, Maimuna, just briefly introduce yourself to our honorable Angela. Yes. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Then, okay. Then now you can speak English. Okay. Good morning, everyone, and good morning to our guests. Welcome to Gambian Talents TV. My name is Maimuna Yajuraksi mentioned earlier. I do the TRC review here, and I'm currently watching some of the videos that are posted by the commission here. So I would like to say um, welcome to Gambian Talents TV, and also want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the Madi managers of Gambian Talents TV and urging each and every mem uh, the youths out there to take um, uh, to take any opportunity that comes their way rightfully and make sure to work uh, fruitfully towards that to make so they achieve everything they want to become in this life. Um, so I want to say. Um, to each and every youth watching right now that uh, let them come and join the Gambian Talents family so that they can empower them to make their future brighter and the old Gambians at large. So I would like to say thank you and welcome. Thank you, my Mona. So you can come in. I know we're taking most of your time. <laughs> yes, so this is Musukeba. As you can see, come, come and see. Come, 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 come closer. 
So she's editing. Uh, we did a documentary. Now we have the new phase of Gambian talents. We want to change the way we used to do our work. We don't want to center it only on Serakunda. We want to be going all over. I remember just a few weeks ago, we were all the way in Basse. We went to uh, Farafenya. We also went to Bara. We visit different, different areas. So the people that miss their hometowns, that miss their villages, can see that. So Musu is right here editing a video. And Musu have been with us not quite long, but but um, she has been so productive, and she also attended the night um, shift as well. So, Musu, you can just pause a minute, and then you introduce yourself. You can say it in Wolof. Um, Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> My love, Musu Keba Jup. I'm uh, a Gambia talent, I edit the camera. Uh, I'm going to be um, three months, two months, lafi, um, less than three months. That, uh, I come plus bi baxna gay dañ la dey muna jangal lo buga lo muna lo buga mun dal gay dañ la ko won hebuñ ken setu ne mag nga wala xale nga lo lo fi andi dal wa diñ ko mun so ma ngi wa kom youth ci gambie ñu try ñoo fi ko xamne da nga buga liggey ci media mun nga ñoo fi janga wa so da ngeen def fay anything de de duñ def fay fay so instead we give you something more later wa na nga gis comme fake luñ la was fake comme da nga serious ci lore def every month ne la jox sa pass ne kuñ dañ la dey fay wa way dañ la dey jox comme sa pass lo muna lo yore dal because dama gis ne fake ya ngi liggey fo xamne dafa sori so amé pass da nga gëna sawar di ñew wa because so amu pass mo do muna sawar di ñew Thank you. So uh, this is another young lady that is so passionate. She runs the agriculture program, but I will allow her to say what she wants to say, but say it in Mandinka, okay? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bari Gambian Talent TV. Am ben mi follow mo le minu yalla ne koy bo Gambian Talent TV ju weka am ba follow ko am be Gambian Talent TV. A pause man juuf na la entity mo le be follow ko ya baraka bage because ka ben dakana na nyang mo fit fonds do ka may ko muda tenka diamu a fonko camera camera la nyaro tenka diam fo mo soto. But thank God right now nga fintele nga tan so ke ka fo me ko tesi to an ya tesito jambarol kata du la jamalto ni mul kakaja wodi ñu mukul te miyale ne ko a ñanto soto bakele adu fana be jane be dugu wala amaka generalism da mambe specialized wodam maneka anka camera kele sometimes a sainte na jalen ken on so ka editing fa way mba fla wo mu ala tentu balde en na karo fata fana nga do man ni ngo soto miyale ne ko nda fala ko a sarare den de bari ak en paaso joñe ñole kata kana na woto mu fene de miyale ne ko amu ala tentu balde Bafla Gambian talent a la baraka bag mo mo yalla ne ko be soko ne be siri man tara fenna try yena Gambian talent all right thank you anti ramze um, you would see that honorable this course that we are doing um, it's free of charge we don't ask for anything but then uh, you would buy a form uh, for 250 i believe uh, the new but i just paid because what we normally do at the first um, instant we normally do it free but you will see almost 200 youths will just come and then pick form and later you know they will not even drop the form and they will not hold it serious so now we thought okay how about we just attach a fee that is for for people to come and buy the form and then later they would hold it um, more serious so that is what we did and here we also make coffee mugs okay. any type of coffee mugs you want if you want your picture to be there if you want us to say um, ambassador if you want us to say mr president or our, our mom anything you want we always make it here in our own institution young people are the one doing it pausmans and the gadgets the machines we have everything right at the production room even t-shirts that politicians do use we normally print it as well and at a discount rate um, other people are doing it for i think 200 350 but for us we do it at uh, 175 for the coffee mugs yes so you can come here and then we do that all right so um just as you can now introduce yourself then we would leave honorable uh, to talk um yes good morning and welcome to gaming talents tv i am isa i am a journalist i'm a reporter and a presenter um i do a show called the um Yud Bantaba. 
Um, a youth bankara uh, is a show that is designed to talk about issues affecting young people and as well as um, to discuss um, the solutions to every problem because we believe every pro problem has a solution. So as young people of this country, we um, know or we learn that the young people of this country constitute 67% uh, of the country's population. Um, so we deem it necessary to have um, the opportunity to empower, to be empowered and also um, to look into things that we know can move the Gambia forward. As we all know now, young people are engaged when it comes to politics, um, agriculture, entrepreneurship, every sector in the Gambia here, um, young people are occupying uh, those sectors. Um, I also do the news um, in English in Gambian Talents TV, and also I was given the opportunity to be the presidential reporter for um, for Gambian Talents TV as I have started going around with uh, the president and also reporting on um, the issues that he normally talks about when, when he is out there. And I was also opportune, opportune to also have this um, close discussion or to interview uh, ministers such as um, the health minister, the finance minister, and also um, Look, um, ask them questions and see how best we can um, have solutions to those problems. As we all know, during the pandemic, Gambia was facing a lot of difficulties. So I was giving the opportunity to be on the field every day, going to the press conferences, covering press conferences, asking tough questions to <laughs> the ministers. So. Yes, and also I, I, I and Yusufa were the ones that was covering the night curfew. Yes, so that, that, that is Gambian talent. And thanks to Pa Usman Youth, like uh, my colleagues have said earlier, this is a zero budget institution, and I, all the people working in this institution are all young people. As you can see, we are all less than 30 years in this office. So it, it tells a lot. And uh, Pa Usman is doing this all by himself. And uh, as, as they say, make hay while the shun is signing. So we are taking this opportunity to grow as well. We all know like being a journalist um, comes with a lot of challenges. So um, we are encountering the challenges, but we also overcome those challenges as well. So welcome to Gambian Talents TV, Mr. I only give her one minute. <laughs> she exhausts our 15 minutes. Huh? <laughs> yes, so Yusufa, you can just stand a bit and then just tell us. But then please, uh, our honorable is tired. We have lots of young people here because today is a Monday, so some of them went out for COVID. Other people are just coming because different um, people and their time. So you can come here because of the sun, so you can come that side. Yusuf. Um, welcome uh, once again. My encounter with Government Talents uh, promotion started uh, two years ago, and today I stand here humbled, committed, and rich due to that exact uh, experience. And of course, you know, it's been a um, tremendous labor of work, you know, with Government Talents promotion, where when I was coming here, and today I look at myself, it's totally different level. So right now, I am uh, doing my own show called uh, Dibenkoto, which I'm about to host you, of course, and I have uh, equally in the past hosted a lot of influential people, you know, from religion, from politics, to international entertainment industry. So all the credit goes to Gambian Talents Promotion and my only advice to Gambians out there is to come and uh, utilize this opportunity and of course uh, to make best use of it. In life, any opportunity you have, you have to take it because you don't know where it's going to take you tomorrow. So this is the philosophy I believe, this is a principle I believe, that's why I'm taking today what I have in order for me to have what I want tomorrow. Welcome once again. Thank you very much. So how about you talk about dress code because I think I need to address you and you <laughs> yeah, seriously. Exactly. When I was coming, I like anybody who knows Yusuf, I only dress, I just love jeans, you know, rax jeans. But, you know, initially when I was coming, I, every day, Nimfarsa Mangasongkajan, Yusuf, be professional, Yusuf, be professional. Then to the Alhamdulillah, I learned how to dress according to my guests. Uh, I'm dressing professionally because uh, diplomatic, I know I'm, uh, I'm about to host Her Excellency. But if you look at me, this like uh, yesterday, I hosted an uh, artist. You, I wish you see the kind of dress I was wearing. And even sometimes online, people do uh, blast me, people do insult me. Like, you could to theater is not decent but they don't understand that like we dress according to our guest like for instance i cannot be interviewing and putting on a is not even respect it's an insult to you so for that matter in the case we dress according to occasion according to environment according to the guests that we have so kudos to government promotion for that so yeah. young people 
we always train them lambs you say and now i would like you to also see your own experience okay okay i said uh welcome to gambian talents tv okay as some of them has said um i also came here as an intern uh, some months ago now almost nine to ten months ago now and when i was coming here i can say i don't know anything about um, camera how to operate camera journalism and also to edit but alhamdulillah after a few months i was able to uh, operate camera i can do editing i can uh, also do this for uh, photo photography i can do all those things and all uh, goes to government and tv because when i was coming here i don't know anything they gave me the opportunity to be able to uh, explore uh, myself and know where i belong to i purposely came here to do a uh, computer but when i came that was not available so i said i will be i will now uh, shift my attention to uh, to do journalism uh, but that one also i am somebody who is shy i don't involve myself uh, much into it but uh, i can say it now alhamdulillah because when i was coming here i don't i don't stand in front of two or three people and talk but alhamdulillah when i came here i i can i can now stand and express myself anywhere yeah alhamdulillah goes to uh, government and tv thank you Thank you very much. So now uh, we will hand it over to our right honorable. So um, I must say I'm quite impressed uh, coming to this studio today and seeing all this number of youths. And um, I should say thank you, first of all, to Pausman Juf for creating this kind of environment from zero uh, budget. Um, to the way it is now it's quite something that makes you feel good when you come and see youths and i see there are a lot of uh, women also young women uh, in this field i'm all in for women empowerment not that i'm not in for men but um, it's always good to encourage the women to become something tomorrow i remember my father used to tell me in those days when you keep asking he says, you have to go to school. You have to be educated. Because there will come a time when being a housewife is not productive anymore. And then no man would want a woman just to stay at home. They would want you to share on the bills as well. So it's very good to see this kind of um, environment. And um, for someone to think, to sit down and think about this vision, I really kudos to, to, to Pa Usman because some people will just sit and be talking, talking endlessly without doing anything. But I followed Pa Usman's uh, Gambia talent from since the beginning. I even have a notification on my Facebook page. Anytime there is a live program, it always notifies me because I see him as somebody who genuinely cares about the plight of the youths. And um, I, I, I pray that he continues to succeed in whatever he's doing. And I also encourage you people, what you have said here impressed me a lot. Everyone said they normally they are given uh, uh, their, their transport fare, but it shows the determination they have in coming here um, in order to learn something. Because like uh, Yusufa rightly said, you don't know where you are going tomorrow. You start from the bottom and then you go to the top. So I'm very, very impressed. Thank you so much. And I don't regret coming here. I'm very happy that I came here today. Because if I didn't come, I wouldn't know about most of these things. Thank you. Yes. Uh, you have a question for her? Or can I go? No. All right. So, Ma, I would want to know, there are so many uh, people out there that might not know what Gambian Talents is all about. And sometimes when we are on social media, we do talk about ourselves. Uh, but then, all of you need the food, Bob Palm. So here you are today. They said seeing is believing. What can you tell them? <laughs> um, what I can say is... Um, you know, people are now seeing Gambia Talents promotion, what they do. And for people to be going, I'm glad about the rural urban drift that is being closed. They are closing the gap. Um, because most of the time, journalism is concentrated in the urban areas. And I'm glad to see someone from CRR, which is my area, coming here all the way in order to be an intern. That is very impressive. Because whilst he's there, any reporting you are doing is like, oh, we have a correspondent over there, you know, which is very, very impressive as well. And I would encourage all the youths um, to try and come to Gambia Talent Promotion. And um, 
do their internship and probably with their effort will be able to uh, uplift this um, institution to a bigger institution because um, one day you might sit down and say, oh, there was a time we had this little studio. See where we are today. And for Pausman, maybe there will be a university of journalism run by Pausman tomorrow. And I, I know that with much effort, it will happen. Yeah. Your final message? My final message is um, um, towards education. You know, I would encourage these youths. It's like when I, when I uh, whilst in uh, Southeast Asia, I keep telling the students that I, I was very impressed in seeing the number of youths in the universities in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in Philippines, all these places, Gambians um, who are excelling, you know, into diverse uh, subjects. I even had a, a lady that I always say, what? You are doing maths. She has master's degree in maths. And I said to her, me, I was the poorest in maths in school. You are very brave. And today she's a teacher. She's, um, she studied in Malaysia and she's here and doing very well. So it's very important to, um, for, for you to learn and then come back to, 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 to help your country. Because only patriotism can take your country forward. Look at you, Rwanda today. Rwanda is where it is today because of the patriotism of its citizens. Um, they, they, they decided to come together. They decided to drop the past and then move forward. So there too much talking is not going to do anything. Let us act and let the youths participate. Because the more you participate, tomorrow you are the, we are retiring. Tomorrow you are the generation that is going to mold the country into your own generation. If we continue leaving everything like that without the participation of youths, I'm afraid we will still be in the olden age, you know. So I would encourage all the youths to come on board and um, make sure that they participate in the nation building. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, Gambia, Yusufa, now you can get to the studio with your guests. So, Honorable Ambassador is right here with us. And as you can see, I'm going to the CBN studio. Why am I blue? I'm blue. 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 Direct suma 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 sim stress bunyo e uh, ana samba agdo mambingui mnyom nyom akonyewal they are my professional uh, sim man suma me nyorek fufula de dem pul mnyewal mako hmm. Hmm. so tenga ham ne yage nyom gamen tenga ne mage nyom fi mani haral masanse nice na bugu mahale irema why you never never fun nega yage mago why ham na ne kunai son de jamano what you do this is a tag man man do 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 mi dehgila man janjam burela judu um yarofa uh dem fa school primary school up to from uh, primary from na 3 or 4 then you know to hosi ga banjo then ma def suma the rest of my uh, living fee my schooling in gambia fee so man village girl la fofu la judu si island bi Buga <laughs> Gage in those days, you <laughs> them badala, you them, you them uh, uh, So this is my childhood. Lisi des bugu mako lifinye paski mangi nyo am interview. In the wa nyuge ja Carlo si so bugu ma reveal yep di like kodi kasi si sauce. Maybe another day we'll have an English program or a Wolof program. Then I can elaborate on that. Alright, yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Yota mala gerem. Because yo, you are a very active person, and um, uh, Pausman should be very, uh, he's lucky having you as well in, in the team. And team. I can see the way you, you are heading your team and uh, what you are teaching them. So kudos to you. Yo, Tamman Lagirem Dila Santa. <laughs> so, Gambian Talents TV, all the way, the new face of Gambian Talents, we will profile the people you want to know. So, believe in me, Yusuf will do a fantastic job. Bye bye.
ñung ci and ak yene ak yo nekay xaliss bu gëna maga so bëgge jot xaliss baye ko UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland ak addina war ngal kep Supersonics Money Transfer ñung ci and ak yene ak yo nekay xaliss bu gëna maga ci Gambia mën nga jot xaliss fepp fi nga ne baye ko carton be koyna te do ci am benn jafé jafé wow mën nga jot xaliss baye ko ci sa ay mbokka ak am di jamma nek ci UK, Europe, US Canada, Switzerland ak adina war ngal kep ak suñu yone kay xaliss bu maga bi nga xamne dafa wor gaaw te nopalé fi ci bir Gambia. Suba Sonix Money Transfer ñung ci ñetti fuk ak ñent de ka ci bir Afrika ngir jox leen melowaay yu gën ci jottum xaliss bi nga xamne kenn du ko lam lamé. Saytu leen ñu ci Google Play Store wala App Store ngir mëna bindu ci suñu app bi di Suba Sonix Money Transfer app da ngeen mëna banexu ci suñu Money Transfer services yi. Aimbek te rek la ak Suba Sonix.